Hey, welcome back to SOS. I'm Staff Sergeant Badass. Yes, I was sick. I'm sorry. I don't know what kind of bug that was, but 24 hours bed rest, I completely shut down. I don't want to talk too much about all this stuff because I'm going to end up getting sidetracked and I won't be able to give you guys some sort of oh, talk today. But after being sick, man. I have had a heck of a time, and right now I'm drinking some Gatorade, feeling a little bit better. Get back here and do a quick video for you guys and gals that love to keep track of this stuff. I wish you guys could go back and watch some of my earlier videos because there are some really good things that I would I would love for you to watch because they are kind of important, especially times right now. I'm going to ask you something, and I need you to listen. Are you ready? Are you ready? And this goes into every single thing. There's a video I would love for you to go back and watch. It's SHTF NBC uh, Nuclear, Biological, and Chemical. Okay. And I did that video and it got demonetized the day I posted it up. And um, I had to do a lot of finagulating to get that video to go back up and be a normal stream with everything else. I had to switch it to entertainment and stuff. Okay, so the reason for that, okay, I'm not going to get into the whole YouTube gargan and crap that goes on because there's plenty of people that talk about that stuff on YouTube. All right. Now, when I got it up, and that's the thing, I thought that as a hint. You know, I took that sort of as a hint to myself. Hey, look, I noticed that anytime I post something to do, that has anything to do, maybe hinting, a third war, third world war, anything like that. I, I'm drawing my words out for a reason. <laughs> I noticed that if I do that, they can't pick up the exact words that I'm using, which works great. Anyway, yeah, they can trace that stuff too. That's the other thing that they do. So, uh, the reason why I tell you that is I thought that was odd. Those are the things. I mean, I did a video with the Russia ordeal, and I was I was into the whole topic of are you ready? Um, beans, bullets, and band aids kind of ordeal all across the board, and it was pretty epic. And what are you gonna do when Red Dawn comes and all that weird stuff? Uh, how would that make you feel, Billy? So I did a kind of a video like that, and when I did that, that was another one. I couldn't, I couldn't monetize it. I couldn't do anything with it. It couldn't get streamed. It got taken out of the streaming channel, so you couldn't even stream it. So I ended up taking it down. That long story short, okay, I'm done with that. I'm done talking about that now. But that's two of this same topic that I'm talking about right now, from that same type of situation and now I'm going to talk about something else that's similar to those two. Keep those two in mind. Go back and watch that NBC video. I explain a lot of, uh, I mean I could tell you real quick a few things from it, a few hints, but how a chemical weapon, like what would happen if a chemical weapon was to go off, what signs to look for in your surroundings, right? And uh, biological what would happen you got your chemical biological nuclear and what exactly happens each phase <coughs> from like your air burst your burst from the ground and all that different type of stuff i know some of you have already seen that video but a lot of people probably haven't and if you're watching right now i highly recommend it and i'll post it at the end of the video so you can click on that video and watch it after this one uh but yeah it's something to think about a lot, all right? Because uh, I remember, like the weapons that were just recently used for the Al Assad, uh, the As no, the Assad base, that air base. I thought that was kind of funny when people were like, uh, I was reading other people's comments from another video somewhere else. I'm like, uh, that weapon's never been used before, and they've never used that weapon before. It's never been in combat. Um, I'm pretty sure, uh, self 
guiding to target destination programmable warheads have been used quite a bit, probably since 2001. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, that's been <laughs> that's been going on. But yeah, people act like, oh man, that's never been used before. No, that's been used for a really long time. You've just had your head in the sand and didn't know it. But that's just weird. You know, it's weird. The things people don't know. The things people don't know is scary. And it really does make me think, man. But this is something that, that's good. Get ready. Just get ready, okay? I mean, I'm not going to get into this long tangent and and, and sit here and uh, uh, nag. I'm not going to nag on you right now, but this is a friendly reminder. I guess this could be the name of the video. A friendly reminder. Read up on NBC, all right? Um, NBC gear. Get yourself a good... I, yes, I have a beard. I got it. Look, they make razors, all right? Trust me. If it came down to it, I would... In a heartbeat, just like that. I have it on standby. But anyway. So, get yourself a good kit. And then I ask... You know, people have asked me a lot, where do I go to get a good kit? And then I'm getting questions. This is all new stuff. This has happened over from Friday to Sunday. The, the amount of emails that I've gotten and private messages on stuff, okay? Storing water and, okay, storing water is real simple. It's not what people may think, all right? Storing water is very easy and anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. The, the, it's, simple, um, it's a simple process for storing water. Anyone can do that. Uh, I even have a video on it. If you wanted to do it El Cheapo, you could also go fancy pants. I mean, uh, heck, you can do it with a kerosene jug that's never been used for kerosene. Just throwing it out there. It's blue. There you go. Take a Sharpie and write on it water. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's different ways of doing this. You don't have to. And I would, I, you know, and I still don't recommend doing the 55-gallon drum. All right. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> You can you can go and get like the wheelbarrow type door deals, like the bicycle wheel on each side, some two by fours, and you can roll around a fifty five gallon drum like that. That just kind of dawned on me. You could roll one around like that. I don't know how easy that would be to get in and out of a vehicle, but probably much easier with five gallon containers. Just saying. I've had questions about where to get a good gas mask. Go to Center Fire systems.com okay I know I've said this before in my websites video I did a websites video that had a bunch of crazy stuff but if you go to uh, centerfiresystems.com they usually have some everyone always tells me cheaper than dirt but cheaper than dirt they do not have a good reputation at all and they ruined it for me during the gun scare when they marked one of their they, they were marking their AR-15 GI magazines for, it was like $115 for one because of the scare? No, that definitely ain't cool. That, I'll never forget that kind of business. I know it's product demand, but that just wasn't right. They are trying to make a buck, and they were making advantage, taking advantage of that situation. And I guarantee you, they had a freaking cases full of those magazines. They were trying to make a buck off everybody. I did not like that. But, man, there's just so many people out there that do that. But this goes... So, well, like, I, like I've said, I mean, there's there's other companies out there for food. Uh, if you want to get stored food, there's a lot of other companies out there where you can get already... I mean, a lot of folks go with Mountain House and stuff like that. They do... Uh, they have a great system for uh, freeze-dried meat. I... That's expensive, though. <laughs> You're going to pay a great, hefty price for it. But <clears throat> this just goes into all that stuff. I mean, gas mask. There's several places to go buy gas mask from. Uh, the blankets, uh, your chemical blankets and stuff. You could get a poncho. I mean, that's what mili most military does. You know, most people in the military, we use ponchos. And 
just get yourself a good solid poncho. Heck, while you're at it, get the poncho liner for it. I mean, that way you'll stay wet, dry, and warm. Or uh, warm, <laughs> as you were. You'll stay dry and warm, right? Uh, and you can also throw it down on the deck when uh, if you get sprayed with chemicals. But yeah, go back and watch the chemical video, the NBC video. I think you'll get something from it. I think you'll learn a lot. Uh, but go through your stuff. Go through your stuff and use your stuff. And I'm telling you this as a friendly reminder because things are headed our way. And you, I'm hoping that you like this video because I'm... Uh, I'm, I'm, I kind of have to do the friendly reminder because people kind of lose track and they, they get caught up in hobbies and stuff and then they lose track of, what am I doing again? Oh, that's right. So keep that in mind. And it's like, do you have a prized possession thing? What is it that you like? I, this is just for guys, gals, everybody. Uh, what is your favorite thing? Is it your car? Some most most people would say car, truck, house, motorcycle, boat, yacht. I don't know whatever whatever you've got. Uh, some dudes out there like their riding lawnmower, you know. <laughs> but whatever it is that you've got, even if it's your family and kids, I know those. I'm talking about material possessions. I'm not talking about your family and kids. That's a separate. That's separate from what I'm talking about. Kind of like, say, for example, your car or your house. Go outside and look at your house like it's not going to be there tomorrow. Go take a look at it. You know, take a look at it to see if heavy weather is going to be coming and you know it's going to be a hailstorm. Well, it's time to start patching up that roof kind of ordeal. All right, that's how you need to kind of look at everything else. It's kind of like the Swiss cheese effect, right? The Swiss cheese effect, there's all these little holes, right? It's always going to find its way through to that one hole. All the way through, right? The Swiss cheese effect. I think people have said that before somewhere else. But anyway. Swiss cheese effect. Just make sure you don't have any holes in your plan. And if you... Do pay close attention. The things I'm trying to tell you from uh, the reason why I didn't do another NBC video today is because I already have that video and I, I'd rather just refer you to that one instead of make that video today. But I think as a friendly reminder from me, uh, it would behoove you to go back and watch that video. And now you need to start going through your stuff. Check your check your beans. Check your bullets and check your band-aids and make sure all your stuff is solid and stay healthy and don't die. This is just your friendly reminder. It's Sunday. I'll be back hardcore on Monday. I'm sure I'm going to hit it hard, but yeah, I did the best I could with this one. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. You're watching SOS. I'm Star Sergeant Badass. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic day. Take it easy.